is up guys, it is your boy ChooseyMK back again with another YouTube video. Now for today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be going over my $20,000 gaming slash streaming setup. I'm going to give you guys a little tour of everything since you guys have been asking me what everything looks like from the other side. So I'm going to give you a little tour. If you guys do enjoy this video, please remember to drop a like on it and subscribe with all notifications on because it really does help the channel grow and I'd really appreciate it. Another thing, I stream every single day at twitch.tv forward slash ChooseyMK. If you guys want to pop and say hi, I really do appreciate that as well. And lastly, the most important thing, please make sure to join the discord it's literally discord.gg forward slash cyg i always need help with videos and like to see you guys participate so make sure to join that all right no more wasting time let's get into the video just know before the video even starts there's gonna be a lot of cables just like random cables so i'm super sorry that's the one thing that's really bad about this setup but i'm turning you guys around this is what it looks like from the back i'm gonna actually back up all the, oh my god i just hit myself but this is what it looks like from behind i'm gonna go over the pc specs first just so you guys know what everything is working with so this is my uh, gaming pc right here and this is my streaming pc right here i'm sorry with the cables okay please please don't roast me in the comments too bad about it but anyway this has an i7 10700k which is obviously water cooled as you can see right there with the cooler master water cooler and then this has a 2070 super right there so this pc i really really like it has 32 gigabytes of ram so this is what i use for like fortnite everything just pretty much gaming and then I'm gonna try to squeeze my way in here. This is my streaming PC. It has an i7 8700K, 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 1080 Founders Edition. And most importantly, uh, RGB fan, which I think is really cool. Well, obviously power supply, my bad. But anyway, that's what this PC looks like. RGB everywhere. Random Apex Pro just sitting there cause I got mad and didn't want to use it anymore. But anyway, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. This is usually, just so you guys know, where my camera will sit. This is a Sony A6100. So it can shoot in 4K. It's shooting in 1080 right now, but just so you guys know, that's what the camera I'm using. And now this is what my setup looks like from the front. It looks like this. It's a lot of screens, I know, I know, but I'm gonna go over everything just so you guys know what's going on. So first, oh, sorry, I was editing, but this is the first monitor. This is an Alienware 240 Hertz monitor. I absolutely love it. It's like a one millisecond response time. So definitely recommend that. Then we have an Acer 144 Hertz monitor. That used to be my old monitor, but now I just use that for my streaming PC. Moving on over here, this is a Dell 75 Hertz monitor. Obviously I just use that for reading Discord and stuff. Make sure to join the Discord, <clears throat> CYG, okay. Uh, and lastly, moving on to this monitor, this is just a random Insignia monitor. I think it costs like 20 bucks or something, I don't really know. I just use it for my Go XLR, but now, I'm gonna go over some of my peripherals so you guys know exactly what's going on. So here we go. We got, this is for the streaming PC and this is for the gaming PC. So we have a Razer Sinosa and a Rocat mouse. I don't really care about these to be completely honest with you. I, I'll literally use anything cause I don't really touch those that much. And then moving on over here, we have a matrix keyboard. Uh, which is a 60% keyboard with blue switches. You can also change these switches out, which I really, really love. So this is my main keyboard. And then this is uh, my mouse. This is the Logitech G Pro X Superlight. I absolutely love this mouse. Uh, the responsiveness and the battery is absolutely insane on the mouse. So I definitely do recommend that. Moving on to more of my peripherals, like the audio stuff. This is where it kind of gets a tiny bit complicated, but hopefully I'll do my best to explain it. I use the Shure SM7B. And that pretty much connects through XLR cable to the cloud lifter and then the cloud lifter to the Go XLR. I really, really like this mixer. It's really awesome. It, it has motorized the buttons as you can see right there. It has samples, it has like effects. You can mute, you can curse, you can do pretty much everything on that Go XLR. So I really do appreciate it. We got some Fortnite cards, which I like to give away on my Twitch. Make sure to pull up. And then moving on to my headset, as you can see right here, it's the Bayer Dynamic DT 990 Pro 250 ohm. And it works really well with with this so definitely recommend doing that also another thing you guys always ask is about my background this chair i actually got on amazon for i think like a hundred dollars maybe i believe it was a hundred dollars i could be wrong so if you guys it's just a random one i just didn't want any like random uh, chair moving on i have a hell of a lot of g fuel as you can see i have way more upstairs i actually drank one today so that's why that's missing but if you guys want you could use my code code choose mk to get 30 percent off g fuel bro 30% off anything on the site, you could use that, so make sure to do that. Moving on to my side stuff, I usually just have an iPad here for whatever reasons, and then I have a hard drive, this is one terabyte, and then this is just holds SD card, so that's what I use like for filming this kind of video, that's what I use. Also, going more into this stuff, I have a lot of like dust cleaners and stuff like that, just to keep everything clean for the most part, and then down there, I just have an Anypro 2, just in case anything ever happens to that keyboard. 
Also, one more thing, I wanted to tell you guys about the lighting situation, because I feel like this is something I never really get to talk about, so I have these newer, I think that's what you say it, RGB lights, you can control it through an app, and they're super, super bright sometimes, and then also I have these ring lights, number one and number two, so these are really, really awesome, I definitely do recommend those, and then as you can see, my monitors are always, they're always on a stand, so this is a dual stand, and then that's a single stand, just to keep everything up. Also, I just wanted to add this in as well, the reason why there's so many wires is because I used to live in New York City city and I'll try to connect it all the way through ethernet from my upstairs to my downstairs so each one of these is 150 feet so yeah, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. All right, well, I think I explained everything in my setup. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe with all notifications on. Like I said, it really does help the channel grow and I really, truly appreciate it. You guys already know, I live stream every single day at twitch.tv forward slash UZMK. Make sure to pull up. And as always, make sure to join the Discord at discord.gg forward slash CYG. I always need you guys' help with the videos and I love to have you guys featured in the videos. So you never know, you can see yourself in a ZMK video. You never know. Anyway, guys, I gotta go stream right now. So I will see you guys all in the next one have a beautiful day peace out guys really back get up by my face yeah i'm looking to pack you can get replaced yeah stepping on the track this is not a race yeah